She spent more than $21 million on fine wines, jewelry, and luxury goods. And then she went to jail. I'm Andrew Henderson, and this is the story of a woman from Azerbaijan who spent tens of millions of pounds buying real estate around London, buying golf courses, and racking up tabs at the famous department store Harrods. For over a decade, she spent all of this money until finally the UK government came and made her the first subject of a new provision under the Proceeds of Crime Act called the Unexplained Wealth Order. You see, for a while she went to jail. Now she's out on bail pending the next step in the case. And what is happening and why this is all happening is that the United Kingdom decided to impose these new unexplained wealth orders on people they believe may have more than 50,000 pounds worth of proceeds of crime or corruption. You see, this woman from Azerbaijan is the wife of a disgraced former chairman of the International Bank of Azerbaijan. He's now in jail for 15 years, and they believe that her money came not from legal activities, but from money that was embezzled from her husband's bank. The UK government put this new unexplained wealth order provision in place because they don't want London to be a place where dirty money flows through. Too many people from former Soviet countries and elsewhere have come and run their money through the city of London, and they wanted to say no more. Here is why this matters to you. The world is changing. The trend is that you need to have a story for where your, where your wealth came from. You need to have a story for where you live. You need to have a story for what your business does. You need to have a story for why you're banking, where you're banking. Your global citizen life needs a story. Now, I'm not saying to invent a story. I'm saying to be able to explain to other people what it is that you do and why you do it. Why are you living in that place? Why are you banking in that place? Why did you get that passport? People are increasingly going to ask, whether it's at the immigration desk, at the bank, when you're trying to move somewhere, when you're trying to travel, wherever it may be. Countries, governments, bureaucrats, banks, they want to know, where did this money come from? Who are you? What's your story? Make us believe we should not be suspicious of you. So. Countries like the UK and the US are starting to finally crack down all the illicit money that's been flowing through their countries. That means that they have increased their suspicions. It means that your ability to go and move to those countries or set up businesses in those countries are not going to be subject to more strict rules. Part of the reason why I believe you should be going to the new safe havens around the world. But the point is very simply, you need to have a reason for what you're doing. If you're simply going offshore and just randomly setting things up, randomly moving money, randomly buying properties, randomly collecting stuff, eventually you're going to be asked questions that you're not going to know how to answer. There needs to be a rhyme and a reason to what you're doing. I'm not saying that our audience is engaging in corrupt activities or has the proceeds of crime. What I'm saying is this woman didn't have a story for what she was doing. She was out spending wildly and now she got into trouble. And the most interesting part of all this is that under the unexplained wealth order provision, there is what is called reverse onus. The onus is not on the government to prove that this money that is in her possession, the money she spent on fine jewels and things for her homes was illicit. It's on her to prove, hey, here's where I got these tens of millions of pounds and I can prove that my money is clean. I understand the temptation to say, I'll just hide my money offshore. I'll just use cryptocurrencies. No one will find me. Governments are stepping up their efforts. Not only is it important to have a legal strategy, it's important to have a well thought out and holistic strategy where all the pieces of the puzzle fit together so that this or something like it doesn't happen to you. Hi, I'm Andrew Henderson from Nomad Capitalist. I wrote this book, which you can find on Amazon, to distill a lot of the stuff we talk about in these videos and a lot of the stuff I've learned over the last decade plus traveling all around the world, teaching you about how to legally reduce your taxes, build your personal freedom, and create wealth faster. 
definitely get a copy of this book if you want to learn more. Now, if you want to watch more videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and make sure you click the notifications bell so you never miss one of our new videos with more tips on how to go where you're treated best. And if you're already a six or seven figure entrepreneur and you'd like to put these strategies in place for yourself, go to nomadcapitalist.com and learn about how I can help you.